is Henry, and I'm currently doing an ethanol precipitation, which is a very important step in the entire gene sequencing, DNA sequencing process. Uh, the purpose of an ethanol precipitation is to actually collect and isolate your DNA fragments that we will then go and directly sequence. Uh, the reason why we use ethanol precipitation is because it is very accurate and very able to uh, to actually get this uh, actual the, oligo uh, sorry, the oligonucleotides rather than the single nucleotides that are left after a CEQ and PCR. Uh, the reason why we use ethanol is because the DNA precipitates out more readily in ethanol than in water. And if you can see here, you see actually the the pellet, the DNA pellet. Uh, actually, the white stuff is actually glycogen, which we, is what we use to visualize the DNA pellet. The glycogen itself doesn't affect the DNA, but it allows us to see where it is. Uh, the supernatant here is 95% ethanol, which is what's used to separate the oligonucleotides from the rest of the solution. Here, when, it, when you're doing, when you're removing the supernatant, the quickest and most efficient way of doing this is to grasp the micro centrifuge tube like this, and then just gently turn it over and then tap on your first knuckle to, act, to actually get all of the alcohol out. It's alright to leave a little bit in here, but what you don't want to do is lose the pellet completely.